I am Heather Lottie. Um, I am a mom to three boys who play hockey in Florida. My husband and I grew up in Buffalo, New York, which is very much so a hockey town. Um, so hockey is a sport that we grew up with, and it's something that we exposed our boys to from a young age. They watched hockey with us. Eventually, they wanted to all learn to skate, and we started there, and here we are. Hockey is a very expensive sport. So it's expensive in the travel alone, um, everywhere we're going all the time, but equipment is expensive. Uh, my oldest son is a goalie. It pretty much doesn't get more expensive than that in what you can spend in equipment. Also, the kids are growing out of things all the time, and skates are at least $100, $150 usually. So every time they grow out of shoes, they grow out of their skates and they have to get a new pair. Um, so yeah, it's, the equipment's expensive and the fees are pretty expensive. Um, I think for me, that's one of the things that bothers me about hockey because I think there's a barrier to entry to it. So if kids are interested, the finances are usually the reason why they don't. And there's not a lot of, it, at least that I have seen, significant fundraising in Florida for hockey like there is in other places. I think as far as challenges, being a student and a mom was challenging in a different way than handling the hockey mom life for me is right now. It's a little bit different than just working hard all the time, and I still work from here. Like Usually when they're on the ice, I'm working. Um, I'm thankful that I have a job that allows me to do that, so I work from home and I can take an hour and 15 minute break to drive to the rink, because that's how far we live from it right now. Um, and you know, it's really great to be able to just close my laptop, reopen it when I'm here, and have an employer that's really supportive of like me being a mom and supporting my kids. Uh, in my undergraduate, I went to the University of North Florida and I studied communications and journalism. And then for my master's degree, I went to the University of Florida and I have a master's in web design and online communication. So Leo's mask was something that I, it was important to me. So he had a hand-me-down helmet for a while when he made this team. His helmet was expired, which you can't play with an expired helmet in U USA hockey. So then he needed a new helmet. And I knew that when he got one that I wanted to design it. Um, I am a designer, so that was something that I really wanted to help him with. So cool that goalies get to do that. They're the only player on the ice that gets to express themselves that way in their uniform. So um, I think he, he really loves it and it came out great. I think that hockey is growing in Florida, but it's not because of Florida. It's because of the insane growth in population that Florida has had over the last, I'd say, probably five to ten years. I've been in Florida since 2006. Um, and it's so different now from when it was before, and almost everybody you talk to is not from here. And I think that the biggest exodus has been from the, the north, east, and central United States, which is where hockey is really, really prevalent, not to mention Canada. There's a lot of Canadians in Florida, even part-time or full-time. Um, and I think that that's why the game is growing here. I do think that the NHL presence in Tampa and in South Florida certainly has an impact. If you look at how hockey is, youth hockey is in the Tampa area, it's way more competitive. There's way more teams and the same goes for South Florida. Um, so the NHL teams certainly impact that. It's growing here, but it's growing because people who know the game or grew up with the game are moving here and they have kids.